Good afternoon, dear professors, seniors, and colleagues. May I present to you a case of a 22 years old female with progressive loss of vision in the left eye within two years, aggravated in the last few months. Right eye has a visual impairment since childhood, no history, no relevant history of trauma, systemic disease, systemic medication, or family history with, a normal, with normal intelligence. Regarding examination, visual acuity was count finger on the right eye with hand motion in the left, both not corrected, with, uh, with refraction, auto-refraction mi minus three sphere with minus one cylinder in the right and the left cannot be measured, while the IOP was normal in both. Examination of the right eye shows a sharply demarcated area of choroidal and retinal atrophy involving the mid-periphery with the macula as a spurred, extending toward the disc but sparing the macula. The under tilted disc was also observed. While examination of the left eye shows a mature white cataract, normal anterior segment, B scan of the left eye revealed that the retina and the vitreous are clear. This is the fundus photograph showing a diffuse uh, chorioretinal atrophy with the scallop edges extending toward the disc superior and inferiorly and sparing the macula of the right eye, of course. This is another picture of the same presentation extending peripherally. Regarding the differential diagnosis, we may consider gyrat, atro gyrat atrophy as one. Second is choroideremia. Third is myopic degeneration extending to paving stone degeneration and pyretinal photocoagulation scars. We'll discuss a few notes about each one. Gyrat atrophy is a somal recessive disorder involving mutation in ornithine amino transferase enzyme on chromosome 10. It will present as a night of blindness in the first decade of life with a progression to, toward visual field loss and acuity later. Fovea is usually spared until late. Vitreous degeneration, early onset cataract, Cystoid macular edema and epiretinal membrane may occur as a complication. Fundus presentation to present as a hyperpigmented fundi accompanied by lobular loss of the choroid, RPE, uh, and the photoreceptor, and the retina, of course, like geographic paving stone area of atrophy. These uh, lobular extensions may coalesce to form uh, a diffused uh, atrophy with scalloped edges. Hyperpigmentation is a, common, is a main characteristic of this feature because it's being differentiated from choroideremia as choroideremia we may show in the next slide as a bersicler. Investigation, the clinical findings confirmed by elevated serum ornithine level or by mutational analysis of ornithine aminotransferase enzyme. Fluorescent uh, angiography, of course, will show a sharp demarcation between the area of choroidal atrophy and normal choriocapillaries. ARG is subnormal early with extinguished lately. Treatment, uh, we may consider pyridoxine on the response to pyridoxine, which is vitamin B6. Response to pyridoxine, we divide the disease into those who are good responders, which we expect a good prognosis for them, and those who are not. Also, we may consider arginine-free diet to reduce only thin serum level. Choroideremia is an X-link recessive disorder affecting males predominantly. It's a progressive degeneration, diffuse degeneration of the choroid RPE and photoreceptor. Prognosis is very poor, although it involves the macula lately, so vision may be spared, central vision may be spared until late. Nyctalopia, slowly progressive loss of peripheral vision, then central vision is its main presentation. Female carriers are usually normal unless uh, except for patchy peripheral RPA atrophy and motoring. This is a picture of choroideremia showing the atrophic changes on the bare cyclera and involving the macula lately. Another differential diagnosis is pathological myopia presents the progressive elongation of the globe, associated thinning and degeneration of the retina RPA and the choroid with a spherical equivalent of minus eight diopter or an axial length of 32.5 millimeter. Patient may have also associated features like gyrat like atrophy of the RPE, aqua tracts, parapapillary atrophy, as in this picture. 
Paving stone degeneration. Paving stone degeneration is a fairly common degeneration. It's usually involved in the periphery. It extends between the aura serrata and the equator. Rarely extends beyond the equator. It is visually insignificant and it's expected to be to occur or to present in an older age than this one. Finally, panretinal photocoagulation scars, clear history of diabetes, clear history of uh, previous exposure to laser is a good, uh, a good uh, clue to our diagnosis in addition to fundus picture which show diabetic retinal changes. Finally, thank you.